on this episode of Cloud Myths Busted. Aiden and Jimmy tackle whether data is truly held hostage by gravity in a cloud environment. Then later, the cloud guys battle the myth of data centers not working and playing well with cloud-based others. And finally, Aiden and Jimmy will dramatically show how apps play here, there, or anywhere when writing for the cloud. Who are the Avere cloud guys? Hey, did you get that Minecraft book? Aiden Gamage and Jimmy Linderman have absolutely no years of special effects experience. They are systems architects specializing in cloud-based deployments. We're cloud guys. As such, what they're doing should not be tried at home. We're not sure they should be trying it here. However, what they do know about the intricacies of hybrid cloud environments can at least fill a decent sized coffee table book or several thick leaflets. First up, data hostage taking in the cloud. We're gonna start today by taking hostages. You remember what happened the last time you used those, right? Trust me, you don't wanna know. Today we've set up a simple experiment to demonstrate how data in the cloud can actually have properties of anti-gravity. Anti-gravity, really? Data, this tinsel for example, can actually float, move anywhere, be free in the cloud. I'm about to show that. Uh, but data has gravity. Clients really worry about data lock-in. How do we ensure data mobility? Dude, what about, what about, it's a metaphor. In this instance, data is represented by Aiden's common household tinsel. And though data has gravity, a hybrid NAS cloud environment can allow you to move data freely between cloud providers and on-prem storage. With a Veer flash move, your data is your data, no matter where it is. Data moves, on demand, on command, effortlessly. No PVC necessary. Next up on Cloud Myths Busted, data flow migraines. You gonna change your shirt with every myth? Sure, why not? This is serious. Decoupling data, latency, traditional NAS integration. It's pretty heavy stuff. Decoupling, heavy. Got it. What? Can data move between two environments without latency? Or does all data need to reside in the cloud? Let's find out. Uh, this is a simple experiment that shows how a veer helps data move between two environments. No, these are tubes. Jimmy, I just walked out of a mirror. Trust me. Yeah, maybe you're a vampire. Avir makes it so that data flows where you need it to, between cloud compute and storage, or on-prem by using FXTs to... Wait, wait, what about latency? Scalability? Does all traditional NAS have to move Dude, through... Dude, it's a metaphor. Come on, try. What Aiden's trying to say is, you can actually leave all of your data on-prem and still use cloud compute resources because Avir supports your existing NAS, as well as cloud storage. Kind of fun. <laughs> data tiering decouples cloud compute and on-prem storage, hiding latency. <laughs> and since the cloud can scale on demand instantly, uh, location isn't even an issue. Data can be right where you need it, when you need it, even to use cloud compute services. Now that's data gravity. Son of a... Next up on Cloud Myths Busted, app challenges, here, there, and everywhere. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. <laughs> <laughs> That's our secret handshake. Well, it was anyway. We're not gonna do it anymore. Don't need to. Next myth will show why. Crack to set for three days. 
Do enterprise apps need to be rewritten for the cloud? Or are secret, unnecessarily complicated handshakes obsolete? You decide. Our final myth is the most simple to demonstrate. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, no, 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 well, let me show you how easy it is. This beaker, enterprise. This blue liquid, like from the paper towel commercials, apps. Apps, lots and lots of apps. I know where you're going with this. It's insulting to our audience. But add some of your orange, you know, to represent hybrid cloud infrastructure, and voila. No need to rewrite anything anymore. Aiden's right again, and with the simplest explanation of all, with a veer. Hold it right there, disembodied voice. And you, shut up. This experiment is supposed to show how a Veer flash cloud running on FXT edge filers uses object APIs to connect to public and private clouds, translating standard NAS protocols while protecting your application investments. Well, yeah. Well, and clustering enables cloud NAS to scale to millions of IOPS of performance and unlimited capacity by bursting your on-prem data center to cloud proportions, right? And your point is? This. <laughs> now that's a metaphor.